Just keep talking if you can. I'm afraid this may be rather painful. Don't worry about it, Doc. Oh, Kellogg. Anesthetic would lower your blood pressure too much, and I need you to remain conscious. You already explained all that. It's gonna be worth it, right? Oh, most definitely. These implants are much more advanced than anything you've had before. Dr. Walter is very pleased with you. The Gen 3 synth program is finally making progress. Thanks to the... genetic material you recovered. You talking about that kid we got from the vault? Yes. A perfectly unspoiled DNA sample. Now this next part is especially delicate, so if you could please look straight into the light. Should everything be purple? Hmm? Oh, that's just a calibration error. How about now? Sir. Better. I'm just glad to have a chance to test these on a cooperative human subject. Normally, the directors are very touchy about allowing this kind of technology outside the Institute. They must find you extremely trustworthy. You see, these are gonna work, right, Doc? Oh, yes. When I say test, I simply mean collecting data over time, which will be very valuable to making further improvements. This next part may be exceptionally painful. Try your best to remain conscious. That's interesting. So I can actually find some of the... I'm, I'm hoping that I can find all of the pieces of information, considering the tape was numbered number seven. But that could just be for other reasons. But I'd like to hear about all the augmentations that Kellogg got. I think those are a really cool plot point. Especially that one moment where Nick Valentine kind of slipped back into Kellogg's persona. I don't think we're gonna get anything out of that though. Especially since I haven't been talking to Nick for a while. Okay, this is a really wide area. FEV lab, what? Oh no. It kind of ended up in a place that I didn't mean to. I like how they still have a rusty yes. as fuck lock. Will I get in trouble for being here? Oh. This is a really old looking place. So. The Institute did experiments with the FEV. Of course they did. How do you think Virgil got to the way he did? Desanitize me. Or don't. Hello. There may be trouble in this area. That is a possibility that I'm now realizing. Old sins just right Got around it. the corner. That would seem really dumb, though. Surely someone would clear all of them out, not just leave a dead synth around for no real good reason. That's why we're prepared to shoot. Hello. Ah ha 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 ha! Ow! Right. Don't have any damage resistance at the moment. Let's fix that real quick. Oh boy. Sensor okay. Alert. Anomaly detected. Legendary Assaultron. Jeez. How much shit's in this back area? You guys locked it off with a super easy lock. Scanning. Someone some kid could accidentally pick lock the place or <laughs> Accidentally pick lock. Reset Could pick lock the level. place. And get in trouble. Repel. Yeah. There you go. We're gonna turn off the turrets. Even if there are no longer any turrets around here. And we're gonna see what happens. Okay. We're gonna take this. We're gonna use a stealth boy. 
<laughs> Whoa. This will be interesting. Bring it. Yeah, I'm trying to be stealthy, me? Could you not yell? Rawr, bring it! You should whisper it. Rawr, bring it. That's it. Standing down. I have to kill this thing with stealth. Perimeter movement detected. How high of a level is this thing? That's oh, not that high. Allocating additional power to the sensors. The hostile will be detected and eliminated. Yeah, I'm right in front of you. I kind of uncloaked. <laughs> the hostile. Oh God! Right explodes. Oh no! Son of a bitch! That was unexpected. Perimeter movement detected. Possible stealth unit in the AO. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna need to get some AP back, if I can read anything at all. Holy shit, I can't. Uh, do we have any Nuka-Cola? I can't read any of this because of the stealth boy, man. Aw, oh, man. Oh, well. Fuck, 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 ah. Wow, okay. Let's see what you had on you. Oh great. A 10 millimeter pistol. How worth it. For me to get blown the fuck up. Jeez. My first attempt at a little bit of actual stealth. Or at least using a stealth boy and just... Death. That thing probably would have sliced me to fucking bits. It's got fucking blade arms! I wasn't expecting that. So unfortunately, the stealth boy kind of ran out really quick. So we're just gonna have to waddle around. Hope for the best. But there might have only been one assault trot in here. I doubt it. Come on. Got it. This place is really creepy. I can't believe that they'd allow anything like this right around the corner from everything they have going on. Surely they could have just sent a couple of coursers in here. Is that a dead cat? What the fuck? House cat. Cat meat. Okay. This poor dead cat. I hear trouble afoot. Using my ears, let me just raise my volume. Okay, so now that I can actually read my pip boy, do I even have anything that increases my AP back? This raises my max AP, but I don't need that. Uh buff out is strength and endurance, don't need that. We have comics, sneak attack multiplier. But I only have one of these out of the entire time we've been playing this game. So I'd rather not use that. Oh well. What is that sound? Turrets!
<laughs> Excuse the fuck out of you, Mr. Turret. You know... Now that I think about it, maybe these were supposed to be the things defending the area. Right, hold on, let me check something. Okay. I just wanted to see if I had used any squirrel stew. I need XP if I'm gonna be down here. Squirrel stew. Anyways, I can see it now. Now that I think about it. The turrets and the assault trons are here to kill all the synths that might have been fucking around this area. Nice. And anybody who comes into this place looking for the FEV virus stuff... ...who aren't allowed to do that, aka someone like me. So the Institute does know this area. That's it. Ugh. Is that the implication? These are obviously... Rooms made for kids. And there are cats here. So did they... Take kids and experiment on them with the FEV, turning them into super mutants? Oh boy. Excuse me, Mr. Synth. Need to access that back area. I need these components so that way I can make turrets of my own one day. And just stack 50 of them on the wall and still have the place get attacked. Maybe this terminal will have some information. I'm in. Turret control? Two? It's just talking about the two I killed. All the time, man! It's like the entire point of these turrets. Or these terminals that disable the turrets are there for stealth people. Like you stealth boy all the way underneath them and turn off the turrets so they don't attack you on your way out. I can see that. Oh, okay. Not what I was expecting. Uh, this is Dr. Elliot with the official report for the Directorate from Bioscience. The date is, um, August. 2178. I'm pleased to report that, as has been the case during my tenure, crop yields exceed expectations. In point of fact, everything down here is fine. With one notable exception. Dr. Frederick has informed me that the Directorate has pre-approved research on samples of the FEV virus, which he already has in his possession. Now, I'm not one to question the Directorate, you all know that. I don't even want to know where this came from, but, well, this is troubling. Dangerous, possibly. I will do my best to make sure risks are minimized, but I really do hope that the consequences are understood. So, what happened here? This is Dr. Elliot reporting for the Bioscience Division. March 22-24. We just received another batch of... subjects. But, as my previous report stated, we're at an impasse here. More of the same won't help. The two most promising strains of FEV have been adapted to an ideal state, but we're still missing something. I am officially echoing the team's position. The most likely progress for our research on synthetic organics requires new avenues of exploration. Additional Commonwealth subjects will not help. It's the same problem across the board. Exposure to too much radiation. We need something... someone new. There's a proposal we'll be putting forward. I am not entirely comfortable with it, but it seems the best course. Okay. So, the question still stands, what happened here? Obviously, maybe one of these super mutants woke up and broke out, or maybe... It didn't break out, no, it had to have broken out. But there's also the chance that maybe a synth just kind of came around, shot the place up, and then the super mutant died somewhere else. 
I need to know. There's a terminal over here, so let me just look at that. It probably has valuable information. Ooh, hey! Hold up, okay. We have information here. Lots of information here. And another... Log. Hello, Virgil. Personal record. Dr. Brian Virgil. This will likely be my last recording. My requests to shut down the FEV program have repeatedly been denied. We've learned nothing useful in the last ten years. Why does Father insist on continuing it? If he won't see reason, then I have to take matters into my own hands. What we're doing... It's not right. It needs to stop. If anyone should find this after... After I'm gone. Know that I never wanted to hurt anyone. Anyone! Do you understand me? I'm gonna make sure the whole program is shut down. If not for good, then at least for years to come. After that, I know what I'm about to do will be seen as a betrayal. Treason, he'll probably call it. So, I'm leaving. I have a plan. And if it works, I'll be somewhere safe. Somewhere not even the Coursers can find me. Everything that we've done, the lives we've taken. If there is a god, may he have mercy on us all. Okay, well, Virgil has a sense of morality, and he turned himself into a super mutant so he could ha leave and hide out in the glowing sea. But isn't this place where we're supposed to find his serum? We'll have to see. Subject status. All right. Baseline male, mid-30s, poor overall health, post-submersion results, consistent with standard results. Uh, late 30s, female, moderate overall health, initially consistent with standard results, rapid decline in physical condition. Uh, moderate overall health, physical condition, consistent with standard results, mental acuity, chart charting with slightly higher than average, tagged and discarded. But why would you tag them? Does that mean that they just let them out into the wild? Is that why there are so many super mutants out top? Oh my god! Okay, I just figured they had maybe been leftovers from other places and just let out. Or rather, they were just leftovers from like, say, the Capital Wasteland or the other coastline. I mean, it's been many years. They could just wandered over. But this actually has some implications of at least some of the serum mutants being from this place. So, physical condition consistent with standard result, mental acuity charting slightly higher than average. So everyone, all the super mutants that were higher than average were just discarded which we're going to associate as they were just thrown up top and left out there because there's a terminated one so that means they actually kill them if they're really really low on the mark aggression far above normal parameters terminated post submersion results inconclusive Note, subject unintentionally terminated during the incident, uh, 5. And data should be called from future reports. What? what the hell is incident 5? Was incident 5 what happened here? We're just gonna have to keep on reading these things. Progress reports. Alright. Entered by C. Siver Siverson? Siverson? We're gonna say Siverson. Notes. Latest round of testing complete. Results are all within expected parameters. Inform Dr. Zimmer directly, as he had ordered the tests personally. He seemed annoyed with the results, unsure what he was looking for. He declined to specify why he wanted the tests run to begin with. And then we saw the virtual. I have officially assumed the lead role on the project after Dr. Syverson's passing. Latest rounds of subjects show results similar to previous test runs over the last five years. No statistical de deviation noted. Synthetic organics continue to perform well. The necessity of further tests is unexplained. Nothing new. Always the same. Have entered formal complaint with the directorate. These tests are not bringing in any valuable information. The organic project was spun off decades ago. Why do we insist on continuing this? And then redacted. Director override AZ99. All inquiries about this project should now go straight to the director. The lab will be offline until further notice. Okay. 
So there's more shenanigans. <laughs> he threw a chair in there and that broke it, obviously. So, for whatever reason, Father still wanted the FOV virus to be experimented on. Maybe hoping to find something around there. Let's see what we can do. The FEV laboratory is a potential biohazard area and has been sealed. Access to this section of the facility is prohibited. Requests for more information can be sent in triplicate to our records department. Oh boy. Hello? Hey everybody! Oh my god, they have gorillas! Dr. Holdren's synth gorilla project is showing promising results. They're synths? What the Please fuck? Don't get any germs on me. <laughs> so you were there the day the bombs fell. That must have been terrifying. Yeah, I barely made it. Physicality or uh logic and physics wise, I think I actually should have been dead. Hey, master terminal unlock. Restaurant! Okay, worshippers. I didn't mean to hit one twice. I can't believe it actually used up one of my things for that. I just want the XP points. Is that so much to ask for these days? Okay, endorphins. Yes. There you go. I want to find out if there's anything more inside the FEV lab. Because I feel like that's a pretty important place for me to go in order to find the serum for Virgil. We're going to do a quick off-screen pass to see if we can find anything that in a corner that I might have missed. Alright, I looked over every single shelf there. Could not find it. What the fuck? Now there's a person inside the synth gorilla room. Yeah, that's totally safe. How the hell did they even get in there? No visible doors. Maybe an under... bush... trap door. Alright, we gotta find someone to talk to. Hello, everybody! Dr. Carlin's doing some amazing things with our genetically engineered crops. Excuse me, doctor. Welcome! So good to have you here. Dr. Clayton Holdren, head of the Bioscience Division. I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. It's truly amazing. Like what? I was just about to explain that. As the name implies, the Bioscience Division specializes in fields of study such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. The gorillas are synths too? They are indeed. Judging by your reaction, we've done a good job making them seem lifelike. The initiative is still in its early stages, but the prospects are very exciting. I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is, but I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? Nope. I'm an outsider. Would there even be a place for me here? No, I'm just... Looking around. I'm not sure. Right now, I'm just trying to keep an open mind. It's a big decision, I know. But it's also a rare and important opportunity. No need to rush to judgment. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Well, why does everything the Institute do end up looking really suspicious? I mean, half of the shit you do is cool science stuff, and the other half is, like, uh, really morally bankrupt. Oh well. Tell me more about those synth gorillas. On the whole, I'd say they were a success. Their behavior does generally match what our historical data says it should be. Unfortunately, we had a few early setbacks. The creatures can become suddenly aggressive, and they're quite strong. They destroyed two of their synth handlers. So now we keep them in an isolated habitat where they can be safely observed. Clayton. 
Anything I can help you with? Is there anything I can do to help out? There might be. Tell you what, you get settled in and check back with me later. I'll see what I can find out. Are you gonna make sight or synthetic tigers? That'd be interesting. Director Holdren seems very taken with you. Hey, Doc. Yes, yes, I'm sure that whatever you have to say is very interesting, but now simply isn't a good time. You're not doing anything, you're standing in the middle of the room. Working on something important? Uh, all of my work is important. Now, if you're quite finished, I'd very much like to get back to these mental equations. <sighs> They're difficult enough without the distractions. <laughs> Those mental equations will get a lot tougher, tougher after I sock you in the jaw. <laughs> yeah, okay. Equations for what? Uh, honestly, you wouldn't understand them. Now, I'm afraid I must end this little chat, although it's been so very diverting. <laughs> you know, I think you're a failure of a scientist if you can't explain something in very simple layman's terms. Seriously, it's not hard to summarize something. What do you- what does your thing do? Oh, it takes objects and phases them through reality. What? It teleports them. What? It makes something reappear somewhere else. Oh, okay. <laughs> Simple. Easy. Even with all the really complicated names and shit. Alright, the bioscience lab has to have this serum somewhere. I could have just, like, googled it up. But I'm on the hunt. So let me actually see the map of this area. Uh, I want to see where I have been having, so we can go this way. We haven't really explored the area on the opposite side. Oh, there's so many things to do, so many things to look at. Let's go look at this terminal. Maybe they actually have information over here. Uh, Warwick Homestead Initiative. Mission Statement. The Warwick Homestead Initiative was conceived to facilitate field testing of various genetically modified specimens in the unique climate of the Commonwealth. It is hoped that we gain insight into the effects of trace radiation on the growth and development of such specimens. We of the Bioscience Division are in the full agreement of the, on the following hypothesis. Subjected to the proper levels of ambient radiation and soil pH, such as those found in the exceptionally fertile soil at Warwick Homestead, our modified seed specimens are likely to exhibit an accelerated growth rate and a twofold increase in size. Ooh. So you're going to be using radiation to your advantage to grow food faster and bigger. Stage 1, using genetic manipulation, we will develop a unique breed of... Uh, Cucurbitaceae, <laughs> Cucurbitaceae, uh, with similar characteristics to those fa commonly farmed in the Commonwealth. Stage 2. Acquire Roger K Warwick, Patriarch of Warwick Homestead, and conduct a series of intensive inter interrogation sessions to learn all we can about his life and family. Stage 3. With the intelligence gathered in Stage 2, create a synth replica of War Roger Warwick and embed the unit on-site at Warwick Homestead to oversee the operation directly. SRB will handle log logistics of that aspect of the initiative. Stage 4. Begin covert deliveries of prototype seed batches. 5. Collect ob observational data from embedded unit. And 6. When sufficient data has been collected, retrieve synth unit and specimens for live study. Purge all service evidence of the initiative. Oh, come on. Is it really necessary to kill all the people? Well, it's implied, right? Hide all evidence of anything. Sounds like you're gonna kill everybody just in case. Since zoology, uh, z uh, zoological initiative phase two development journal. Initial thoughts. What to create? We've engineered creatures that inhabit the sky and the land. The next logical step is a creature of the sea. The greatest challenge remains data collection, accurate measurements, behavioral data, life cycle, habitat, etc. Might Nahant have something useful? Not to self. Request that we allocate a scavenger team to that area. So which aquatic creature makes a good candidate? Start with size. Nothing too large, nothing too small. Most promising candidates, genus Delphinus and genus Carcaei. <laughs> wow, okay. Genus Carcainus. Carcarinus. Kasharnis? I hate scientific words. 
On-site habitat will be a logistical challenge. Expansion of bioscience likely necessary, including large water tank. Many logistical challenges to implement. Facilities divisions likely to oppose this. Have to pitch this as a first step in a broader plan. What else can go in the aquatic environment? Can we grow food there? What other experiments could we do? Could we develop underwater synth models to carry out seabed salvage operations? Probably far-fetched. Need to work on this more. We'll table this journal for the time being, focus on other priorities until I can come up with more reasons that will benefit from the aquatic habitat. Can still gather data in the meantime. That guy's smart, yeah. Director Holdren, here are the, de the details you requested re the gorilla behavioral anomalies. A total of 16 incidents of heightened aggression have been documented. Bioscience personnel who witnessed those events, and myself included, would uh, categorize the level of aggression displayed as extreme and dangerous. In all, six synth handlers have been destroyed by guerrilla attacks. As for what triggers these behavioral challenges, or er, behavioral changes, I speculate that it's a reaction to perceived conflict. Several attacks followed heated arguments that took place within earshot of the pen. Another occurred soon after the recent SRB security sweep. It seems clear that there's a fault in the behavioral model. I doubt it can be corrected. I know you're against it, but I think we have to consider destroying them. Failing that, I recommend that all contact with the gorillas be limited to sense units only. Biosyn uh, bioscience personnel should not be permitted to come into contact. The risk is simple, uh, simply too great. Okay, I like how he kind of put a two and two thing together. The attacks take place when people have arguments and shit next to them. Uh-oh. Remote login by AO. Is AO doing spying on the other comp on the other areas? Interesting. Oh well. Let's continue looking around this area. I have to find something around here. I mean, I don't know where an FEV serum would be. I just kind of assumed it would be in the bio lab that's directly connected to the FEV area. Alright, now that our guest of honor is here, I want to remind everyone to be polite, accommodating, and welcoming. It's not often we receive visitors from the surface, and this occasion is more special than most. I know I can count on all of you to extend a hand of friendship and greet our visitor with the utmost hospitality. Let's embrace this exciting event and make the best first impression that we can possibly can. Director Holdren. Aww. When we first implemented the new power efficiency guidelines, I was proud at how well we were able to meet those standards with only a minimal impact on our productivity. It was a daunting challenge, but we rose to meet it. Lately, however, we've been getting lax in our habits. Too often I'm finding lights and lab equipment uh, left on when they shouldn't be, and the environmental settings have been changed without my authorization. Let's rededicate ourselves to doing what's right for the needs of the Institute as a whole. After all, this isn't just our home, it's a home for the future generations who will carry on the great work of building a better future. And then what about this next step? I have some exciting news to share with all of you. Father has approved the next phase of my proposed synth zoology initiative, and I'm already in the process of setting up a schedule for the initial prototyping phase. As has always been the case, this is a low priority project, but those of you who find yourselves with free time are welcome to contribute. I'll need to make a few preliminary de decisions, but the least of which is what kind of creature we'll want to replicate. I don't have to tell you how eager I am to begin, and I can't wait to see what amazing things we can do given our recent advances in synth development. Director Holdren. AKA person who really, really wants gorillas. Reports on batch 274. Not yet. I've been reviewing Father's plans to expand our operations at Warwick. He's eager to get that going, so I've had to put everything else to one side. I wonder how the Warwick family is doing. Young Wally must be close to ten years old by now. It's remarkable that any child can survive for so long up there, don't you think? I... I try not to think too much about it. We have more than enough to occupy ourselves here. And those people are the last remnants of a dying past. It's best not to dwell on the subject. They're still people, and they're suffering. We can at least admit that it's regrettable. After all, how can we hope to redefine mankind if we can't even hold on to our own humanity? Well, that's a question best left to our colleagues in the robotics division. Yes, well... I suppose you're right. Dr. Carlin's doing some amazing things with our genetically engineered crops. Right. Isaac, get back to your mental equations. But hey, I was actually really surprised to hear Isaac being the one to bring up that topic. Although it seems like maybe the way they believe the whole situation is, they're like, oh well, everyone up top is gonna die eventually and 
We'll just make our own future without those guys. Uh, all right, where the fuck am I? Ah, uh, the map's glitched out again. That is so irritating. I have no idea where I am in relation to everything else. Oh, f well, we found the front door! Or at least we found the front area that I ran into in the first place with the no FEV serum or anything like that available. Sweet. Oh, yay! More microscopes and other junk for me to take. This is nice. If I still had weight uh, for junk items, I'd be sitting here constantly over encumbered just because of how much shit's around the area. But I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> Actually, how much is my weight right now? 410. What? Maybe I should drop some of these coarser uniforms. Or sell them. Hmm, yeah. I'm excited that prospect. Front door? Yeah, that's the front door. All right. We're missing something. There's got to be something else around here. Let me look at my data real quick. Use the network scanner holotape. I found my son who is now 60 years old and the leader of the institute. I've accepted his institute uh, inv invitation to join the institute and need to int introduce myself to the de department heads. I don't, work has been a real inspiration for me. I don't like how the summary goes. Yeah, I've accepted his offer to join up with the institute. No, I haven't. I just happen to be interested and willing to see what's up. Oh, hi. Technical document. <laughs> One that would actually really benefit the Brotherhood of Steel, no doubt. Okay, just a random room that didn't really lead to much except for a barricaded door. Why did they have to barricade this door? Why didn't they just lock it off entirely? What kind of dirty secrets are hidden behind here, everybody? Very questionable stuff. Director Holdren seems very testing, taken with you. It appears the water radiation was lethal. All the same, I'd like to see it. We could still learn something. Of course. Doctor, I was thinking if our modified subject deteriorated so quickly, then how can anything else possibly survive up there? Frankly, they don't. The surface is still too dangerous for life to truly thrive. That's why what we do here is so important. Oh, please. That's so dumb. You have to be really, really ignorant to ignore all the advances that they've been having up there. They have water purifiers that can get rid of the radiation. They have entire swaths of land that can grow non-radiated crops. Yeah, life doesn't thrive up there. They're doing a at least wider job than you guys. That's nice, right? To just kind of throw them away like that, it's it's really irritating me. Okay. I never went down this hallway. Fuck. It just leads back here. Is there a legitimate- I, I have to Google where this fucking serum is, because I, I think it's in the bioscience area. Okay, so I looked it up, and I guess I just- I missed this. It looked like something that was just a part of the environment, just another non-interactable thing. But nope. Here's a serum. Bring the serum to Virgil. I will definitely do that as soon as I leave the Institute. I wonder if I can just get out. Take the elevator and leave without talking back with Father. I don't know. You know what? Hold up. So will any terminal work for this? It's telling me to load up data for these guys, so... Uh, which one am I looking for? Network scanner. Initiate network scan. Okay. Now we have all the information we can get from them from this one terminal. Can I get my tape back now? <laughs> Internal network detected. Wait, what does that mean? Did they detect me? Trying to steal the information? Because that might not be good. Nee. 
Okay. You can now fast travel to and from the Institute. Can I do it from any room ever? Synth retention, talk to father. Oh boy. Okay. I can't believe I had to do that in order to like, finish off what we had to do in the area. <laughs> that seemed really awkward, like, oh, talk to everybody. And then we'll just casually, secretly wait for you to try and fuck over with our systems. Oh, here we go. 